Can AI change the way cities are run? San Technologies shows me how their platform uses AI to determine where to place an EV charging station. It considers millions of data points in calculating that these buildings are this city's best options. That is where we used AI from a digital twin perspective to map the population, to figure out where there's charging stations, how much they're being consumed, again, sensors, where, where they need to build more capacity. SANS also used AI to help a UK telecommunications company determine where to lay an internet fiber line underground. If it's too expensive to build under roads, it can instantly recalculate to route it under sidewalks instead. I look at it, AI as empowering a citizen to live more efficiently, to live within their city, to know where traffic's going to be. We've always heard the grids coming one day. Well, it's really here if we could just connect all the dots. At a recent tech event in Silicon Valley, Xi'an, China-based China Star showed how its smart sensors are being used around the world to connect what used to be ordinary devices. Take a look at this display table from the company China Star and you'll see how cities are really getting smarter. For example, trash can sensor to tell you how full your waste bins are, parking lot monitor, other devices that tell pressure, uh, like one for a fire hydrant, and even a sensor for a manhole cover. When the sensors collect the data, they can be transmitted wirelessly to your monitor center. And with the collected data, you can analyze the data with the AI. It can tell you many things, how your business can improve, can do better or more efficiently. Chief Technology Officer of the Digital Twin Consortium, Dan Isaacs, explains how the smart city industry is moving from the digital twin concept to the intelligent digital twin concept. How do I analyze that information almost instantaneously? I can have, instead of monitoring and continuously having somebody, okay, checking and doing whatever, I can use artificial intelligence to automate that, to take the robot out of the human. When asked about whether AI is ready to make its own decisions based on the data it gathers, Isaac says guardrails are necessary. If you're automating those kind of decisions and letting those agents operate in that environment, you need to make sure that you have them operating on a very specific task with, you're, you're keeping them in that box. A travel agent with multi-bots running different things is a lot different from making decisions in a hospital or making decisions in emergency response. Isaac says for now, a human eye is often still necessary to make sure critical decisions are based on data that has not been corrupted by AI hallucinations or hackers trying to achieve their own goals. Mark New, CGTN, Santa Clara, California.